dare you enter my playground? Huh? Don't you know this park is mine and only I can play here? But, but it's a public park. We can play here too. This is my park. And this ball is mine from now on. to be playing in the park? We were, Grandpa. But then Sam pushed us out of the park and took our ball. Why didn't you stop him? He's big and strong. We're scared of him. It's not like we could do anything to him. Maybe not alone, but together you can. How? Let's go get your ball back. Let me tell you a story, kids. Deep in the jungles of the east, there lived a proud lion. He was big and strong. All the animals were scared of him. Lion knew that the other animals were scared of him. So he took advantage of this and always stole food from the other animals. In the same jungle, there lived a pack of wolves. Every day, they would hunt some animals for food. But then, the lion would come Take it all away. They were scared to face the lion. Because he was big and strong? Then what happened? Did they leave the jungle? <laughs> no, Joe. They were sick of lions stealing their food that they had worked so hard for. To get rid of this problem, they decided to visit the wise turtle at the old abandoned temple at night under the full moon. Hey! Old wise soul! Show yourself! We seek your wisdom! Ah, Alpha! You again! What do I owe the pleasure? Wise one, there is a new king in the jungle. He is big and powerful, but he never uses his might to hunt. Instead, he steals from us and other animals. I don't know what to do. We are hungry, and my pack has reduced to half. Alpha, you are brave. But bravery is not enough. What you need is unity. Stand together and victory will be yours. hunting. 
they took down a prey, but before they could feast, the lion showed up. Alpha remembered what Wise One said. He stood his ground. Watching Alpha, all the wolves also stood their ground. For every step forward the arrogant lion made, the wolves took two steps forward. It's not going to end well for you. We will see about that. Watching the bravery of Alpha and the unity in the pack, Lion knew that it's the last time he stole food from the animals of the jungle. Lion knew he can't win this fight. For the first time, Alpha saw fear in Lion's eye. For the very first time, Lion took a step back and went away silently. The jungle was not the same after that incident. That is one motivational story, Grandpa. <laughs> so, the moral of the story is that we should be brave and stand together. Yes, kids. There is strength in unity. Oh, look! We have reached the park! You know, kids, what you have to do. children. What are we learning today, ma'am? Today, we will learn how we should never underestimate anybody and treat everyone with respect. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> rock, rock. Yeah! Kids, once there was a giant elephant in the jungle. He was very proud of himself and never treated anyone nicely. Unable to do anything to him, all of the animals despised him. Step aside, Piggy! Can't you see you are in my way? But the path is for all the animals. Mm -hmm. There is plenty. You don't argue with me. I'm so big and powerful. <laughs> hey, you have to pay for that. I worked so hard to gather those bananas. You were saying something? Uh, uh, no, uh, 
our thing. <laughs> the fruits are free. <laughs> Eat as much as you like. <laughs> what a great thing. I should listen to some music. of the jungle. We are all equal. I am the most powerful and the strongest, you puny creature. You think you are equal to me? <laughs> With just one blow, I will send you to the moon. Why don't you then, elephant? Oh, what are you doing? Get off my trunk this instant! Mm -hmm. ah, get off me! Mm -hmm. No, Rose! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Ant. I misunderstood you and all the other animals. I realize now how we are all part of the jungle. Promise that you will treat everyone with respect and not disturb others. Yes, yes, I promise. I will treat everyone with respect and I will not disturb anyone. Apologize to the animals. I am sorry, dear animals of the jungle. I am sorry for my bad behavior. All of the animals were surprised to see what a little ant has done. Everyone forgave the elephant. And after that day, the elephant helped everyone and treated everyone as equal. Oh! It's such an interesting story. So, what did we learn from the story, Sugar? Ugh. That we should not mess with ants. <laughs> rock, 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 rock. I can't even catch a rabbit now. I'm getting old and weak. I will starve to death if I don't catch anything to eat.
I have to find another way to get some food. It's not like animals are just gonna walk in and offer themselves to me. Ugh. Wouldn't it be great if animals could come to me and I could just eat them? Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. I am going to pretend to be dying. And when the animals will come to meet me, I will eat them alive. of the jungle, I am very sad to tell you that I am very sick and I don't have much time left. But <coughs> before I die, I have something for all of you. I want you to come to me one by one every day and hear my will. I have so much left to give. Before dying, I want you to have this. You have been a respectful member of this jungle. Um, th thank you, King. Hmm. All these 
footprints are going inside the den, but not a single one coming out. It can mean only one thing. The lion is eating all the animals going in the den. I should be very careful. How are you, dear king? <coughs> I am not feeling very well, fox. Please come closer so that I can share my will with you. Oh, no thank you, king. I have seen the footprints of animals entering the den, but no signs of returning. I know what you did to those poor animals. <coughs> I will tell everyone about the sinful plan of yours and put an end to it. So, who wants to hear the story of Stork and the Crab? Me! 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 All right. Once upon a time, there lived a stork near a pond. All the pond creatures were scared of him. <laughs> he loved eating fish. He was very greedy. He would catch and eat as many fish as he could. And if he couldn't find fish, he would hunt other smaller creatures. He never cared about anyone other than himself. But over the time, Stork had gotten older and fatter, and he could not catch fish as he used to. This is no good. I am getting old. I have to find some other way to catch fish, or I will die. Stork flew to his house. He knew he had to find some way to get food. Stork was old now, but he was very cunning, and after thinking all night, he finally had an idea. The next morning, he went to the pond, but instead of catching fish, he just sat there looking all sad. He did the same for the next few days. Everyone got curious and wanted to know the reason behind his sadness. Uh, uh, what happened to the stork? I don't know, but he looks weak and tired. We should ask him if anything is wrong. Stork, what happened to you? No, it's nothing. Then why are you sad? Guys, I have bad news for all of you. Huh? What bad news? 
I am sorry to say this, guys, but this pond is drying up. Soon, there will be no water in the pond, and all of you will die. How do you know this? The other day, I was flying over the other side of the hill. I saw the river, which brings water to this pond, all dried. Humans have built a dam over the river. Oh my god! What will we do now? I don't want to die! Stork, please help us! While flying to the other side of the hill, I also saw a pond much bigger and more beautiful than the small pond. Really? Yes, I can fly and take you there, if you want. Please, please, take us there! Ah, uh, okay. You know how much I care about you all. Don't worry. I will take you to the bigger pond. Hooray! <laughs> The fish couldn't tell that the stork had lied to them. There was no bigger pond. And he made the whole story up so he could eat all of the fish. Every day, the stork would pick few fish. And he would take them to his house and eat them. <laughs> He did this for many days. One day, the crab asked the stork, Stork, is everyone happy at the new pond? Oh, yes, yes. They are so happy that they have made few new friends now. I really want to see my old friends. Could you take me to the new pond? Fishes, crabs, toads, you're all just food to me. Oh, uh, why not, crab? <laughs> How far is the new pond, Stork? Behind the hill, Crab. When they reached over the hill, Crab looked mm. around and saw no pond in sight. He realized uh. this was some kind of trick. Uh. Stork, we are going downwards. I see no pond. Crab, I need to rest a bit. You know I am old, but don't worry. We will be at the pond in no time. The closer they got to Stork's house, Crab realized mm. those skeletons were his friends. Without losing a moment, Crab <clears throat> grabbed Stork's <clears throat> neck with his mighty claws. Stork, unable to breathe, started falling towards the ground. You lied to us about the new pond, didn't you? It was a trick to eat all of us. This is what we get for trusting you? Stork hit the ground. The crab did not lose his grip. And finally, out of breath, he died. Crab went back to the pond and shared Stork's evil plan with everyone. All of the creatures of the pond thanked the crab. And that's how Crab saved the pond. Good night, kids. <laughs> <laughs>